Всем привет! Меня зовут Светлана. Добро пожаловать на канал, где я рассказываю делюсь хитростями, которые могут помочь стать ЕГЭ по английскому языку на желаемый пал. Сегодня я расскажу, как можно сравнить две картинки. Это одно из заданий на устной части ЕГЭ. Более точно, это четвертая часть устного экзамена ЕГЭ по английскому языку. За это задание можно получить 7 баллов. Я покажу и сравню 7 картинок, чтобы наглядно продемонстрировать, как это можно сделать. Покажу полезные выражения, клише и крылатые выражения, которыми можно пользоваться. Все тексты я пишу сама, все тексты и картинки ты увидишь на экране. Подписывайся на канал, тут будет много интересного и неожиданного. Итак, Поехали. Немного о структуре вопроса при сравнении двух картинок. Тебе дается две картинки. Они могут как отличаться сильно друг от друга, так и не очень. Сегодня я расскажу про те, которые не сильно отличаются. То есть имеют много общего. Для помощи тебе, да-да, именно так, на экзамене тебе дают подсказку. Это вопросы под картинками, на которые тебе нужно ответить. Обычно там 5 вопросов. Первые три вопроса одинаковые для всех картинок, а последние два отличаются в зависимости от картинок, которые тебе предстоит описать. Вопросы в начале – это описание и сравнение картинок, где ты говоришь, что есть общего и какие различия. А в конце два вопроса – это твое мнение по картинке. При ответе для тебя будет удобнее идти по плану. Каждый пункт должен содержать 3-4 предложения. Оптимальный ответ должен состоять из 12-15 предложений. На ответ дается около 2 минут. Стоит такой ответ 7 баллов. Я предлагаю использовать следующие полезные крылатые выражения. И некоторые из них я использую при описании картинок. Так что досмотри это видео до конца. Оставь комментарий, какие крылатые выражения ты услышал. И предложи свои варианты. И если это видео наберет 20 лайков и 20 комментариев, то я сделаю новое описание картинок с использованием ваших предложений по крылатым выражениям. Итак, я предлагаю 10 полезных крылатых выражений, таких как To be green – быть новичком в чем-то To come – to pass – to finish something with flying colors – завершить что-то с большим успехом No pain, no gain – без труда не вытянуть рыбку из пруда A piece of cake – с легкостью Lose train of thought Потерять ход мысли говорящего, забыть о чем, о том, что только говорит. To be a big cheese. Быть большим человеком, влиятельным, быть важной особой. To cool my chats. Расслабиться, успокоиться. An apple of my eye. Что-либо очень дорогое или важное для говорящего. To bite the dust. Проиграть, стать историей, уйти в историю. To rain cats and dogs. Олить, как из ядра. Итак, с теорией закончили. Переходим к практике. Картинка номер один. There are two photos to compare. The first photo shows a girl reading a book at home. She is alone on a sofa. The second one displays a girl reading a book while going by a train. They both look happy and interested in reading. Both pictures have much in common because I can see people reading. However, the kinds of books differ. The girl in the picture number one is reading an e-book when the girl in the second picture is reading a hard copy. Both girls are wearing casual style, 
speaking about the color of their hair. One of them is blonde and another one is chestnut. The atmosphere in both pictures is peaceful, yet the background is different. The first picture shows us coziness of a flat and the second one presents less comfy train environment. I can assume that because the girl is standing next to a window, maybe there are no vacant seats. Besides, you can lose your train of thoughts reading in a train. I'm not green in using up-to-date gadgets, and if I had to choose, I would prefer to read at home an ebook. I like to cool my chats reading an interesting novel. I used to have a huge library of hard copies and it took up five bookshelves. It took up lots of space, but now I can have all my books in one place, literally in my pocket. It is more comfortable. Итого, в рассказе 19 предложений. Это немного больше, чем желательно, но 12-15 предложений – это некий такой минимум. Если ты сможешь в 2 минуты уложить чуть больше предложений, это же будет плюсом тебе. Итак, переходим к описанию второй картины. There are two photos to compare. The first photo shows detached houses. The second one depicts two blocks of flats. Both pictures have much in common because I can see places where people can live. Yet, the first picture shows two stories building and you have to be a big cheese to live there. The second one illustrates a seven stories building which is perfect for blue color and white color workers. The atmosphere in both pictures is peaceful. In addition, the background is similar as you can see the blue sky, yet there are clouds in the first picture and there are none in the second. Picture number one illustrates a countryside. I can assume that because I can see many trees and no cars. The second picture may be in a city. I can suggest this because I do not see trees, only a green lawn. There are no cars in the second picture as well. If I had to choose, I would prefer the first one. I like detached houses because you do not have problems with neighbors. For example, if you have a big family, they may be living on the second floor and be your neighbors. When having a flat in a block of flats with lots of neighbors, they might be disturbing and noisy. I like to cool my jets in a peaceful and calm place. Итого, история состоит из 17 предложений. Переходим к изображению номер 3. There are two photos to compare. The first photo shows a group of children in an art gallery. They are sitting on the floor listening to a teacher or a guide. The second one displays a group of people walking around looking at, at exhibits at the Museum of Natural History. Both pictures have much in common because I can see people spending their time learning something new and educating themselves. There are children in both pictures, however, the first picture tells us about an art class, yet the second one shows us parents with their youngsters having fun. All the people in both pictures look interested in what they are listening to and looking at. The atmosphere in both pictures is peaceful, yet the background is different. In the first picture, you can see different paintings on the wall. Their colors are different when the main idea of the painting remains the same. In the second picture, you can see different animals in showcases. If I had to choose, I would prefer the picture number one because I want to be an artist one day. I want to learn as much as possible about arts 
and pass all my art exams with flying colors. Итого, история состоит из 14 предложений. Переходим к четвертой картинке. There are two photos to compare. The first photo shows five teens playing different games at a game exhibition. They are obviously taken in by a game. The second one displays a boy playing a PC game. He might be a teen as well. He is trying to cool his jets. Both pictures have much in common because I can see people having fun and playing PC games. However, the picture number one is telling us about the game exhibition where the background is dark and you can barely see what is going on there. When the second picture depicts the boy and the PC game played at home. I can see the game details better in the second picture rather than in the first one because the five things are blocking my view. The atmosphere in both pictures is engaging. If I had to choose, I would prefer the picture number two, because I don't like noisy and dim places. I prefer playing PC games at home in a comfy chair with headphones when I can make my teammates bite the dust and enjoy the game to the fullest. Итак, история состоит из 12 предложений. Переходим к описанию картинки номер 5. There are two photos to compare. The first photo shows a girl with long chestnut hair with a small white dog in a park. They are sitting on a bench resting after a long walk. The second one displays a big furry red cat lying on a laptop, helping his owner to write up a report. My cat does the same all the time. Both pictures have much in common because I can see pets. However, the first picture shows us the dog and his or her owner, yet the second one is telling us about the cat. The dog picture was taken outdoors when the cat picture was shot indoors. The atmosphere in both pictures is peaceful, yet the background is different. In the dog picture you can see many trees on the background and it looks like autumn. The weather is nice, it is not raining cats and dogs. The cat picture is difficult to make out because the light is bad and I can barely see the background but I do can see the laptop. If I had to choose, I would definitely prefer the cat picture, the second one, because I'm a cat lover. I have always had a cat and I cannot imagine my life without my furry friend. Итого, текст состоит из 15 предложений. Переходим к шестой картинке. There are two photos to compare. But in the first place, I would like to ask you, where did you get the picture of my grandma? She is the one in the blue t-shirt. I'm just kidding. The first photo shows women in their late 70s or 80s doing yoga or simple exercises to stay fit. The second one displays women and men in their mid-30s doing different sport activities. Both pictures have much in common because I can see people trying to keep fit and have a healthy lifestyle. The first picture shows many women, as far as I can see, doing simple activities due to their age. However, the second picture illustrates young and beautiful people training. All the sports people are wearing special sportswear. People in both pictures know the rule, no pain, no gain, meaning if you want to stay young and healthy, 
you have to work out, no matter at what age. The atmosphere in both pictures is peaceful and the background is pretty much the same. People are indoors, yet in the first picture elderly women are sitting on the floor, whereas in the second middle-aged men and women are running using athletic tracks. If I had to choose, I would definitely 100% prefer picture number one, because when I am in my late or early 80s, I would want to have the same energy, determination and spark inside to act like the grandma in the blue t-shirt. Итого, текст состоит из 14 предложений. Итак, переходим к описанию картинки номер 7. There are two photos to compare. The first photo shows people on the street standing under pouring rain. The wind is strong because they can barely hold their umbrellas. The second one displays a blazing hot day. A man is pouring cold water over him literally to cool his chest. Both pictures have much in common because I can see people dealing with different weather conditions. In the first picture people are fighting against strong wind. It is raining cats and dogs. In the second picture the man is suffering from another weather condition, the summer heat. The atmosphere in the first picture is worrying and in the second one it is warming. In addition, the background is different in both pictures. In the first, I can see gloomy streets, and in the second, blue sky with white clouds. If I had to choose, I would prefer the second picture, because I long to summer, warm sea and white sand. Итого, история состоит из 12 предложений. Итак, мы разобрали, как можно сравнить и описать две картинки, которые имеют очень схожие между собой изображения. Спасибо, что досмотрели это видео до конца. Подписывайтесь на канал, оставляйте свои комментарии, предложения по схожим картинкам. Если это видео наберет 20 лайков, то я сделаю новое видео из ваших предложенных вариантов. Увидимся в следующий раз. Пока-пока!